you know? When in 2019, we heard that a man in Maryland got stabbed and eventually died from an argument in the line at a Popeye's for a chicken sandwich, I thought that we as a society kind of peaked for a while. And I'm not talking about, you know, a couple years or hell, even until next year. I was just thinking like, oh, we're good until maybe the springtime where we wouldn't have anything crazy. But oh boy, I was wrong when it came to 2020. And I'm pretty sure everybody who is a firm believer of, oh, hey, new year means new opportunities for things to go up. I think they, I think they admit that they're wrong too, because it's been a roller coaster of a year. Um, yeah, what's up, everybody? YouTube video talking about coronavirus, and I'm not afraid to say that because I don't get money on YouTube. So yeah, they can suck it. Um, so yesterday we had a bombshell of news drop when it comes to play Pokemon, and unless you've been living under a rock, which if you watch this video, I highly doubt it. You already know that pretty much everything is canceled, everything's postponed, and it's it's not even like funny anymore. But um, yeah, let's get into this article. Important update regarding play Pokemon events. The safety and well-being of our community, both players, competitors, all that crap, is top priority. After discussion and event organizers, and pursuant to guidance set forth by logical, local, regional, and national health authorities, as well as the World Health Organization. All play Pokemon sanctioned events through May 14th in North America, Latin America, South America, Oceania, South Africa, and Europe have been canceled. This includes all regional championships, special events, league challenges, league cups, premier challenges, mid-season showdowns, and pre-release tournaments. No championship points will be awarded during this time. That's that's the big one right here. Not nothing will be awarded. While independent uh, Pokemon organizers of these events should act in their best interests of their event community, including always being mindful of the safety of participants. We appreciate their cooperation and partnership during this challenging time. We are continuing to closely monitor health mandates, guidelines, and recommendations from appropriate government agencies while evaluating all independent and Pokemon organized events on a case-by-case -case basis. And then they tell you where you can find more information at. So, from March 17th all the way to May 14th, all events are pretty much canceled when it comes to competitive Pokemon. And for those who, well, this one shocked me, but for those who haven't been following the things I've been doing my day to day, I've been playing in the Pokemon circuit. Uh, I've been training, I've been grinding, and I could tell that some of you probably watch this video did not know that yet. But yeah, for the next two months, there will be no events going on. And this is a major blow to the Pokemon Championship Series. Because, you know, let's come over here. Actually, no, let's not even start here. So, the regionals. The regional championships have been canceled in America. I already said May 14th. So that means there will really be only three regionals left by the time this passed by. Assuming there's no changes to be made during this time of crisis. Whether that means they push it back earlier or they push it... To a later date right now that means there's only three regionals left and two of them are around the same time we have fort wayne indiana going on from may 22nd to the 24th at the same time at santa clara california they have a regional going on from may 23rd to the 24th so you really can't be at both at the same time so really there's only about two regionals that people can realistically go and compete at and after that we have the milwaukee regional from june 5th to the 7th those are the only three we have in north america and we have one of the biggest player base in both VGC and TCG. Europe, they're done. Their last regional is May 2nd to 3rd. That's canceled, like right off the bat. Uh, Latin America, they're done as well. May, well, actually, no, they're not done. So they have one more regional left. They're May 30th to 31st. And Oceania, they just passed by. They just passed by with theirs being May 16th to the 17th. So all in all, we're looking at about what five regionals left and realistically you can only go to like four of them because you can't be in Santa Clara and Fort Wayne Indiana at the same time so there's like four regionals left and this is pretty huge because they got the standings going on right now for Pokemon also in terms of internet um, only one that's gonna be left is the North American because they canceled the European internets so 
that's pretty huge because looking at the standings for you know the Pokemon World Championships um uh, roughly around 250 to 300 people will be competing and this is going off of the standard of in America you need about 400 points of course you're in Europe I think you need about 200 or 300 I keep forgetting it's either Europe you need 200 or one of the other smaller regions I think South America is 200 but roughly you need about give or take about 200 points depending on your region 400 if you're in America so we're talking about maybe close to three to four hundred people would be competing not even three to four hundred I think yeah a little under 400 should be competing in the video game masters championship for the leaderboard if you qualify depend and this all depends on your region but if you're in America with 200 points you're not gonna qualify you need 400 to make it so research wise it's gonna be a little convoluted to see who will actually make it into worlds and this is going off of the 2019 data right now we fast forward over to the 2020 data and we look there's only 106 people who are for sure guaranteed a spot into worlds by the 400 point you know threshold of course this is just going off of 400 points and by the American standards and in fact they ran like what region other people are from I just did a quick Google search I mean I just did a quick search on the Pokemon website to find this out you can all very easily do the same thing but give or take a nice chunk of the meta has not hit their requirement for their region to make it to the world championship is what I'm trying to say we're looking at I think it's safe to say roughly a little over 60 70 percent of people have not hit the qualifications yet for their specific region to make it and with these cancellations happening majority of the remaining tournaments are gone and the heart and soul of the competitive scene which are the locals as in your premier challenges and your mid-season showdowns they're also gone so it's not like we're just missing you know one or two regionals and people can just make it up by going to several you know mid-seasons so yeah this is very concerning um on many levels so world's go takes place either between the second or third week of august uh, a lot of expert opinion and world officials are believing that this virus that's going on may last until August. Some say sooner, some say a little bit later after that. But regardless of how you feel, regardless of politics, regardless of how you feel about the media, there's one thing you have to understand, even if you're the most stubborn person ever. This virus is affecting the world and it's hitting hard. And whether you believe that, oh, you're fine or whatnot, everybody around the world don't believe the same way. And I sure as hell don't want to be in an event knowing that people have traveled from airports from different countries knowing that they could have potentially been exposed because I don't know who they interacted with and I don't know anything about the person they had to talk to, had to sit by on a plane or a train. Hell, even if I'm sitting on the bus going to these events, I don't know who I potentially may be sitting by. So, yeah, it's, it's understandable why this is happening. I don't blame Play Pokemon. I don't blame any of the other companies who have their own events canceling and postponing stuff it's just the right thing to do especially in this time of this weird era we're living in like it's a weird time to be alive um like i said for everybody who has their favorite hobbies and their favorite things you're probably already having discussions on what they believe they should be doing to remedy this for example if you watch basketball you're probably thinking like is there a way for the nba to finish out the regular season and then just push the finals back a little bit can they just hop straight into the playoffs etc same for like other games because everybody's community is pretty much being affected and for those who are watching this or those who I know who just like to compete on the circuit many of you rather we have a world championships that is you know just limited to what the players that qualify now versus not having any world championships at all so I talked to a couple people who follow you know this format and some of them we all agreed that they're either going to have to one, either cancel worlds, or two, they probably have to do a lower CP requirement. Uh, for example, like I said, in America is 400. They might knock it down to 200 to 250 to qualify. That's what I believe because we're taking a nice hit when it comes to our regional scene and a lot of locals being gone. That's a ton of points just taken off the table right there. So I think they might have to knock it down to 200 to 250. If they knock it down to 300, I don't think that's enough because we're missing a lot of opportunity. Somebody may disagree. And I understand why. I just feel like 300 with, you know, half the format just being gone, that's, that's not enough. Um, besides just the lower 
TP requirements. I talked to one person and we discussed this. He mentioned that there's possible there could be a possibility of maybe they just do online competitions where if you do well in the online competitions, you just earn a spot into the tournament. And while that is true, that while we do need you know switch and you most likely need internet just to you know compete, I find that they have a lot of problems. Uh, first things first. Um, when it comes to just how Pokemon has been going on, for those who follow the official VGC rules that they came out in Series 1 and all of Series 2, uh, G-Max Zard, you couldn't use G-Max Charizard with the ability Solar Power because it was just not illegal. Um, however, for Battle Stadium though, that was an error that went on. We don't know if it's an error, a glitch, whatever, but it was accidentally allowed to be legal where you can use a Solar Power G-Max Zard and a lot of people took advantage of it. Um, it got to the point where during the online competition before Series 3 started, they allowed it to be legal. And then now Series 3 started back in March 1st, G-Max Zard is legal for official, you know, in-person tournament play. Um, if that's to happen, we didn't know, like, if it was just something they couldn't take out of the game, if there was just a lot of complications they had to do in the coding side, we didn't know. But since there's still G-Maxes that are no, not legal yet. We don't know if we're even going to have a rotation for the series because with events being canceled, there's no point in you know, rotating out of Series 3 and a Series 4 if you ask me. And even if they do, we don't know if they're going to take some G-Maxes out and make them not legal because, you know, they said that the legality is subject to change. There's a lot that's uncertain right now. And I feel like having an online competition, if there was to be anything that went wrong, there would be a lot of, there would be a lot of controversy conducted there and then the big the big one the most obvious would be what if joe schmo who competed in the online competition has like four nintendo switches he has four different play pokemon accounts and he just kept playing on them because he has no life until one of them potentially qualify for worlds like that's easy could happen we know people who pro probably already have multiple switches i know people who have multiple games of sword and shield already so that's also another possibility because when you're battling online there's a lot of and I don't know how to say anonymousness going on, but there's a lot of that going on. And who's to say that you just didn't have somebody who's a top level player, you just paying them a couple bucks to, you know, play in your place. That could easily happen as well. People do whatever they can to say they qualify for Worlds. So, and that just came to the top of my head right now. So there's that. And then finally, you're not supposed to qualify for Worlds just through online competitions alone. Like, how's it fair that you, who is sitting at the comfort of your home, Dominating these online competitions get gets a bid into the world championship over You know people who actually have to go out and compete at the regionals at their locals and things of that nature And from play Pokemon's logistics standpoint if you aren't traveling to your locals let alone to the regionals or possibly internets To earn CP to make it to worlds. Why should they expect you to potentially? You know get the money to go and fly out to London to compete in the world championships Because even if you have 400 points you just get an invitation you're not guaranteed a spot. You're not guaranteed flight in a hotel. You gotta pay for it all out of pocket. So, you know, they're still gonna have. You're still running that risk of there could be potential wasted roster spots because Joe Schmo, you know, dominated the online scene, but he couldn't make it because well, he has no life, so he has no money to get there. That's the issue. So, what is my remedy? This isn't the perfect remedy, but it's definitely one that could be done. And I think they need to bring back the LCQ. For those who do not know, the LCQ are the last chance qualifiers. You can follow any games. Um, typically, they had their own world tour, their own world championship equivalent. A lot of them do a LCQ where, for those who didn't qualify by their standards, which for us would be, say, in America, 400 CP, they'll have a tournament where you'll be able to play. Sometimes you get a single elimination, sometimes double LM, or whatever format that follows with the game. And you'll compete in a tournament. And the person who wins out of there will earn a spot into the championships that officially start the next day. So they had this in the past. See, Worlds was going off from August 15th to the 17th. In reality, what that meant was for the schedule for VGC, Friday, August 15th, all divisions, you'd be playing in the last chance qualifier. And the person who wins out of the last chance qualifier would just make it out to the next day and play in the World Championships. We actually had someone who went through the LCQ and won it all, which was Hayden McTavish back in 2013. So it, it's unlikely that you will win out of the LCQ and win Worlds, but I feel like it's a 
nice alternative. And the reason I bring this up is, as I mentioned earlier, you're not guaranteed, you know, travel rewards to make it to Worlds for free. So, people who are competing on the circuit pretty much understand that, hey, if I qualified, I have to pay out of pocket to get here. So, if you're already have the ability to pay out of pocket to get to Worlds, you might as well, they might as well have a LCQ where you have a chance to make it. Obviously, this is not ideal because if you have money to travel to Worlds, you much rather do it knowing that your spot is guaranteed into the World Championships and not based on chance. But I do offer that, you know, since there's going to be a nice chunk of people who just don't qualify based on the certain CP requirements and everything that's going on, they should have multiple pods go on. So for those who, you know, watched my most recent video, we had Premier Town just happen on a Friday before regionals, and they had us play in separate tournaments for because there were so many people competing. They should do something like that, where they group us all up together into different tournaments, quote-unquote, and the winners of those tournaments earn a bid into the World Championships. Now, if they say, like, they expect the 15 to 20 people who were, like, 10 CP off of making it to Worlds, they should be, you know, grouped into their own separate pods. Like, oh, hey, you're in the top 20 people who just missed the cut. You know, you're going to be in your own pod versus not being in the same pod as the number five guy who missed out on the CP. I think that would be pretty fair. Of course, there would be controversy because imagine if Aaron Trailer had, like, only 395 points and... He gets upset in his own bracket tournament by some random guy from Europe. Now, I think it's fair to say that if you beat the Dallas Regional Champion Aaron Trailer in this LCQ, you deserve a spot in the World Championships. But for the Aaron Trailers of the world in this scenario, you will feel cheated out. Nothing is perfect, but I think this is like one of the better alternatives to this. Just bring the LCQ back and we'll just go from there. Um, so, what does this mean for me? I'm still going to be grinding, I'm still going to be getting it in, because, you know, while it sucks that Worlds may possibly be cancelled, we don't know yet, and even if it was to be cancelled, I still enjoy playing doubles, you know, this isn't always about, like, only go to the World Championships and everything, it's just having fun, this is just improving myself, and just, you know, making sure I get something out of it, which is pure enjoyment, so I'm still going to be out here grinding, I'm still going to be doing my own thing, I just may be spending less time doing my own thing if everything's going to be cancelled. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this long video. Hopefully, it was informative. Hopefully, you guys understand where everything's coming from. And I'm about to get out of here. Um, for anybody who has their own favorite hobbies or entertainment that they like to watch being canceled or postponed temporarily, let me know down below how much that sucks for you and if you had any remedies for that. Or if you got any remedies for the World Championships, let me hear that down below. I'm about to get out of here. Gates fell open. I'm going to close them. Bye.